back to another random adventure in Costa Rica. As we've been in the last few videos, we're still in the La Paz Waterfall Park. And today we are visiting with the butterflies. Unlike the other exhibits, the butterflies are enclosed in their own little greenhouse area. So this makes filming the butterflies more comfortable. There are still some strange lighting effects because of the greenhouse glass above. But overall, we have a really nice images here for you today. This video will also be a little bit on the shorter side. I could show you a lot of images of just the enclosure, but really it just ends up being a lot of images of plants. I really want to just focus on the butterflies. And there were butterflies around and they weren't too hard to film, but they were a little bit hard to capture as far as getting them to stand still. So I only have a really a handful of shots where you get a really good look at them. Before we enter the main part of the butterfly exhibit, there is an area that has taxidermied butterflies. I think they do this because depending on where the butterflies are in their breeding cycle, there may not be that many um, options to see live ones. So they have these displays with the, the butterflies pinned to the wall so you can see them. And speaking about the butterfly life cycle, we start here with these racks that have, I guess the cocoons of the butterflies. And I believe the people who work here must take the cocoons and move them from wherever they're at and pin them there. So I don't think the butterflies would necessarily cooperate to do that all on their own. First, I don't know all the different species and types like that, so I can't speak to that so much. I do know that the main one we're going to see a lot in this video is the blue morpho, which is like this one right here. The part of the wings we're seeing are actually the underside, which aren't very colorful, but on the inner part, which is actually the outer part of the wings, you can see um, the blue color where they get part of their name. It's a little bit better shot, we can see some of the blue. And it's kind of clever how they get the butterflies to come out so people can see them. They just put out a food source, so fruit in this case, and again, I was amazed how close I could get the camera right up to them and the butterflies would not move away. I don't think it's because they're necessarily used to people, because I can't imagine insects being like that. Um, this is kind of funny, this is the tour guy, the man in the blue. And he was playing a little bit of a prank on some of the people saying that this blue morpho was the only carnivorous uh, butterfly known and it actually got a few people so it's kind of funny. Like I said this is going to be a shorter video so I'm going to say goodbye here. Just like this blue morpho will be saying goodbye to us in just a moment. I'll see you all in the next random adventure in Costa Rica. Mm -hmm.